Okay, obviously the first thing you have to make sure of when you're going to lock the system is that the key is in the locked position, which is turned anti-clockwise. Once it's there, that's all you need to do. You don't need to touch the key again. Right, when you're sliding the panels, keep the right angles to the slider, and then that avoids any chance of it rocking and damaging the ceiling. Once you're at the end, you can then put it into position. Now, the key thing here is to make sure that you push it into place and give it a bit of a push. Then it locks automatically. Second panel. Have I missed it? Exactly the same. Twist. And push hard into place and it locks. Okay, last panel. A bit tricky, watch your fingers with this one. But there is room. And again, make sure it's in place. This time, you don't hear the lock mechanism working. That's because there's one final bit to the operation, and that's the button on the door here. Now the key to making this work properly is to keep your finger pressed on the button. Okay, so the panel closes, locks into position, and then it goes through a secondary locking, top and bottom. You must make sure that you're keeping your button, is keeping your finger on the button until it stops making any noise at all. If you don't, it doesn't complete the sequence. And then when you come to unlock the system, you'll find that it doesn't work. It doesn't unlock unless you've actually made sure that that's completed its cycle. So that's one key bit. Okay, let's go in the opposite direction. Turn the key clockwise. No sound at all. Oh, sorry, yes. <laughs> you'll know that it's successful because you'll hear it unlocking. Right, okay, so now we press the button again. And it does take a few seconds before it actually kicks in. Again, keep your finger pressed on the button until it stops making a noise. Once it's done that, you can pull the panel, twist it around, and push it back against the wall. And then the same with the others. As soon as you pull it away, it'll unlock and twist it around through 90 degrees and push the panel against the wall. You see how easy it is if you do that simple thing.